Hi, this is Mr. Barch again. Okay, so we have gone over some narratives um, and worked on the homeostasis graph. And what we've started is that we've looked at basically these five features. We're going to continue to look at these five features. And this is in your handout, your homeostasis handout, which is on the PDF attached to the Google Classroom lesson for, for Physiology Basics point three. Okay, there are basically five features that your body is always trying to maintain, that your body's cells are trying to maintain. Remember, this is your nucleus right here. B is the nucleus, and I'll just kind of give it a little bit of color right there. There's your nucleus of your cells, okay? And then this re represents your internal cellular environment, okay? All right, and your internal cellular environment is basically impacted and trying to keep constant five certain things in the extracellular environment, which I'm just going to color here. It's kind of like that. These five things, and I know my copy didn't work so well for this picture, but that's okay, are your temperature, which I think was one of the first variables that you worked with, okay? Blood glucose, I'm just going to write blood glucose there. That's one that we got to keep constant at all times. And if you've ever been around Mr. Barch when he's hungry, you know that. Okay. And then oxygen and CO2 are a big thing that your body's constantly trying to keep in balance. And as you make it up to the third floor, okay, uh, you might be a little out of breath every now and then because your blood gases are adjusting and your body's trying to maintain homeostasis for that. Then of course, we have things like electrolytes, like sodium, and potassium and a whole bunch of other electrolytes like calcium as well and magnesium. There's a whole bunch of them. They all have a set point and your body's constantly trying to maintain homeostasis for them. And you feel bad when they're out of um, balance. You really can. Like when your um, potassium is low, you don't feel very comfortable. And I'm sure some of you have had cramps and things like that, um, muscular cramps that are related to these electrolytes being um, out of balance, so we can all relate to that. And then we also strive to maintain a certain acidity, okay, of the extracellular environment and in your bloodstream, and that's also known as pH, and it's the value of hydrogen ions floating around. We won't get too chemical on that, but there are really, really simple things that we can do to, to change the blood pH that we have, and your body actually does send signals to adjust that all the time. In fact, these gases and pH are really closely related. When you're getting out of breath, your blood pH drops precipitously because of all the CO2 that's in your bloodstream. So everything's really connected on this. And um, it'll be interesting as we go forward for you to just keep this stuff in mind um, as we do that, and that, we're, that there are five features that, that your cells are always trying to maintain parameters for, and these um, are, are it. So do your best to memorize them. There is um, a check that we're going to do um, and it's going to be in class where we're going to read narratives about all of these and hopefully place them well on the homeostasis graphs that we have in class. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to, to give me a shout out or email me.